If you've ever been interested in getting a better job to change your life, you've probably considered getting into tech at some point. With some of the biggest headlines, groundbreaking innovations, and unheard of salaries, the tech world can be really interesting. One of the most common ways to break into the tech industry is by becoming a software engineer. Engineers make an average of about $160,000 according to builtin.com, but senior engineers at big companies like Google, Facebook, and Amazon can easily make upwards of 500 or 600,000 every single year. And what's even crazier is that you don't technically need a degree to even get these roles. While there are many people in the software world who started off by going to college, you'll find tons of people who entered the role by going to a boot camp or even teaching themselves. This January, I spent $10,000 on a software boot camp to help me land a new role. And here's my thoughts on whether or not you should do the same. My motivation for choosing a boot camp might be pretty similar to yours. I was someone who was working in a non-technical role, trying to get into the tech job of my dreams, and I knew I had to pass a technical interview in order to qualify for that role. I had tried a bunch of different free resources like Free Code Camp, The Odin Project, YouTube, and I found that I just really wasn't making a lot of progress. I was going from one video to the next, not really retaining much knowledge, and finding myself not know where to go at all. I felt like I was stuck in this space that another YouTuber, Big Box Sweet, calls tutorial hell. What was I supposed to do? Was I just supposed to watch a two hour YouTube video on JavaScript and then be able to immediately make some sort of project? It doesn't work like that. The reality is you can't actually learn software skills by just piecemealing a bunch of videos together. You have to have some degree of systematic learning and then actually apply that knowledge for you to make any sort of progress. I really felt like I was struggling and I felt like using any sort of free resources would have taken me about two to three years to make any sort of progress and I just wasn't really willing to let that time go by. I decided to pick up the boot camp route instead. So I always knew that doing the boot camp would be difficult because you're trying to learn the concepts in a lot shorter of a time, but I underestimated just how much time it would really take. At the time, I was working about 60 plus hours a week on my day job and trying to keep up with class, the homeworks, and then learning the concepts was a lot more than I expected. I, it's not like I was missing class. I was still going, but most of the time I spent outside of work was just spent doing the homeworks, meaning that I didn't really solidify my understanding of a lot of the concepts. This actually ended up making the homeworks take twice as long because I didn't really know what I was doing, as opposed if I had more time to review the concepts before I started doing them. Normally, college students spend four years learning these concepts and you're trying to cram them into either three or six months. If you're someone who has a lot more time than I did, then you might even want to try the three month option, but it is understandable to know you want to have enough time outside of your day job to make sure that you're able to study and practice the concepts. The practice is what really makes the difference. Even though the boot camp was very difficult, one of the biggest benefits was the fact that I was able to learn the engineering concepts relatively quickly. I found myself applying this to my day job almost every single day. At the time, I was in a non-technical role, and it's really interesting to see how even technical concepts can be applied to non-technical scenarios in everyday life in general. Concepts like abstraction just helped improve my understanding of the world around me, which definitely made me a better employee, whether I was in a technical role or not. Additionally, even though keeping up with the bootcamp was very challenging, it forced me to do a lot of projects that I just wouldn't have done otherwise. This was a huge benefit because by the time I had graduated, I had a large portfolio of projects that spoke to my coding skill. Towards the end of my bootcamp, I decided to apply for the technical product manager position that I was going for. As soon as I sat down for the interview, I was immediately quizzed on concepts like software architecture, abstraction, and other things that I had learned throughout the course of my bootcamp. I ended up getting the role, and it's impossible to say I would have done so without taking that bootcamp. I really owe it all to the program. The projects I had done gave me a body of work that boosted my resume significantly, and in the end, I landed the role. The new role came with a raise of over $135,000 a year. The boot camp was challenging, and there are definitely things that I'll have to go back and relearn before I consider myself an expert software engineer by any means. However, I did end up getting the role I was going for before the program even ended, and so there's no denying that fact that it worked. A boot camp isn't a 100% guarantee that you'll get a job 
or that you'll get promoted. And it is a ton of hours to devote to your time. But if you think you're someone that wants to go towards a software role, it might be worth you spending your time and money trying to go to one of these camps. If you're interested in software careers, subscribe to my newsletter down below and subscribe to the channel for more tech news and updates.